Hi everyone, and in today's tutorial I wanted to talk about a really cool and powerful function that some of you are not aware of. It's called Expand Palette. So what is Expand Palette? If you look in the manual, it will tell you the Expand Palette function allows data in queues to be expanded to use all attributes from the palette. And it gives you a nice example saying, for example, if you've created a queue, uh, or playback uh, that uses say an RGB palette and then later on you morph the fixtures or you you change the f fixture from one type to another and now the new fixture is looking for RGB values but the new fixture is actually has got only the color wheel then it will not work because the fixture does not simply know about the color wheel the palette does not hold information about color uh, color color wheel because it had only rgb values so it's uh, just to say it in a simple words um if you have um if you have a playback with or playbacks with a particular palette and you've used it and later on you've added something new into the palette and you would like these new changes to be applied everywhere else, this is where you use the expand palette function. Again, uh, some of you, I'm, I'm sure most of you have used palettes and you may say, okay, show us how it works. So I'll show you with a basic example of updating the palettes with the colors and how it works. And, and uh, I will explain to you from the logic of the person who probably never used this function before. So uh, let's select, uh, I'm loading, I've loaded the show file called Maverick, MK, uh, the, the Chauvet show file. So I've selected Maverick MK2 spot. I press locate and let's say I'm gonna make a position palette. So I'm gonna use, uh, to move the tilt, press fan and I will move the fixtures out, I'll press record and I'll press out and I'll click here. So I've created a palette called out. Then I'm going to move, uh, I'm going to use the fan in. So I'm going to call this one in. I'll press rec. I type in in on my keyboard and I click here. It creates a palette. Yeah. So we have the palette. Yeah, we can press locate and we can test it. Yeah, palette one, palette two, yeah, it's all good. So let's select the first palette and let's create a queue stack actually using both of these palettes, so two-step queue stack. We're gonna press record over here. That's the first step saved. Now we press here and we press record over here. So press clear, double click to then press queue timing and press yes. By pressing queue timing, we're converting chase into the queue stack. Again, most of you probably know about this. So if you didn't, that's a good good start. So press queue timing, it creates queue, uh, queue stack. And if you press chase timing, it's gonna convert back into the chase. So, uh, okay, uh, if we start our queue stack, is step number one, yeah, we press go, step number two. Okay, let's say we've created a um, couple of hundreds of the, of the playback or cues across the whole show file and we actively use those two palettes the out and in but let's say um, we actually uh, we actually realize right at the end that for every uh, playback for every queue where we have the out palette we actually would like all the lights to be in a red color and for every queue that has the in palette we also would like to have the blue color so all the lights become blue so here's the question how can you add the color information into those queue uh, into those pl hundreds of playbacks that you already created and this is where a lot of people start thinking oh yeah we need to go one by one try to update try to do something but it's it's way way simpler than that so uh okay let's do let's use the logic approach and we will select the lights and we will say okay so we know that we need to update those palettes and we need to add a color into them so first of all how do you add the color into the palettes that we already created into the position palette so let's select uh, let's press locate we'll press uh red so we can see our lights and now we would like to 
add the color information into the position palette that we have already created. So how can we do that? We will we'll have to hold shift button. So hold shift button or on your keyboard, hold, hold shift and press rec. That will bring you the record options window. Here, what you need to do is following. So if you press record merge, and you will try to click on the position palette, the desk will ignore your color information. Why? Because by default only the p position information can be recorded in the position window. But if you press in record merge and you also select color, that meaning you are forcing the magic queue to accept the new data, the color information into the position palette. So I've selected record color and we're only merging the information. We don't need to touch the position, only the color. We press close and uh, sorry, we go here and we click on our palette number 16 out and it tells you, would you like to uh, update the palette uh, position number 16? That's called out. Are you sure you press yes, please? And then let's go with the color information, uh, the blue, and we want to update the, this palette with the, uh, with the blue color. So you hold, um, sorry, give me a second. Okay, you hold shift and you press rec. So it brings you again this window. Again, we press rec merge, we press record color, we close that window and we click on that palette and we press yes. So, now, in principle, let's check it. So we'll select the light, press locate, and we press this pilot. Yes, works as we expected. Press this button. Yes, works. Perfect, perfect. Exactly what we needed. And let's check, let's press locate, and let's check our queue stack. Okay, we updated the pilot, so we expect it to be updating as well. And we run it, and no. Why? Because the, the queue here, so if you double click here, on the on our playback and see it's our Q1 we press view Q it shows you that um, it has information about uh, a palette so on the pan and tilt yeah pan and tilt and pan and tilt speed you have the word says out out is the name of the palette so it is fully aware that there is a palette that's used it's called out and it's applied only on pan and tilt but for the colors, it has only hard values. That means it knows only about, because I press like eight, yeah? I mean, some of you will not do it, but because it knows only about the, the colors that came uh, from the locate. So it has no information about the color, uh, that color that you expect to see from the palette. Because by default, if you add some information into the palette, that automatically does not go into all the playbacks to avoid problems. So, but let's say in our case, we actually would like to have this new data, new color data to be expanded onto all our playbacks. How can we do that? That is, this is where the expand palette uh, comes uh, handy. So you'll select your palette here or this one, that one doesn't matter. You press view palette. So now if you look at the view palette, you can see you have this new information here. You see in red, it's the color information. Pan and tilt, they're already there. It's all good. And now in order for the, all the changes that we did to expand across the whole show file, we need to use the option called expand palette. So here it is. If you press expand palette, that, that will only expand selected palette. So if you press expand palette now, yeah and now if you launch the queue stack you can see the first playback is working fine but if you press go the next playback still is not aware of the changes because you only expanded one palette but if you want to expand all palettes of course you can go to the second palette and expand it one by one i mean again we did this pre from the uh, measures of precaution that means just in case you're not going to affect everything but you can actually go into any of those palettes press view palette and then you press hold shift button again shift button and now you have the button called expand all palettes you press it and now it says expanded all palettes in all queues so now, if you go into your queue stack, let's reload them. We'll raise the fader and we'll have updated Q1. 
press go and we'll have updated Q2. And this is where the expand palette comes handy and it's really powerful tool. So if you're doing a tour and you've actually uh, need to update something, especially I had a lot of requests from people that have used, say, a, a Gobo palette, and then later on they find out that actually their focus positions are off and they want to update it, but they have never created uh, a, a focus together with, uh, with the Gobo. So in order to fix this, you actually, what you do is you uh, select the fixture, add a focus, the correct focus, uh, and then merge it into a uh, Gobo palette and you do the expand all palettes and it will expand it across the whole show file in one go. So again, you will save hours if you've created too many playbacks just uh, by using this really, really powerful function. I hope it was useful. Thank you very much and have a lovely evening. Take care. Bye.